verdict, okay? Same rules apply. I don't know what this verdict is. Can't have any emotions, all right? Let's bring them in. seated. Good afternoon. Juror number one, it's my understanding the jury has reached a verdict, is that correct? Correct. Is it a unanimous verdict? Yes, Your Honor. Okay. You hand it please to Deputy Nicholson. Mr. Dean. Verdict reads, we the jury, having found the defendant Aaron York Dean guilty beyond a reasonable doubt of the offense of manslaughter, assess his punishment at confinement in the Texas Department of Criminal Justice for 11 years, 10 months, 12 days. They do not assess a fine. And it is signed by the presiding juror. You may be seated. Thank you very much. Members of the jury, as we went through before, I'm going to call your um, juror number and ask you if this verdict is your individual verdict. Juror number one, is this your verdict? Yes, Your Honor. Juror number three, is this your verdict? Yes, Your Honor. Juror number four, is this your verdict? Okay, and now we have heard the sentence the jury's nine, decided for former verdict. Fort Worth police officer Aaron Dean, 14, who was convicted of manslaughter in the shooting death of Atatiana 15, Jefferson in 2019, sentenced to 11 years, 10 months, and 12 days. That means he is not eligible for probation at this time, and he will have to serve at least half of that sentence before he is eligible for parole. We are going to continue to cover this story. We're going to have much more on this coming up on our later newscasts. Thank you very much. Mr. Actually, Jones, let's go ahead and continue to hear the jury roll at this time. No legal Mr. Dean, it's the jury having found you guilty of the offense of manslaughter and assessed this punishment. It's the order of the court you be remanded to the custody of the sheriff be delivered to the director of the Texas Department of Criminal Justice to serve your sentence as required by law. You will receive credit for all the time that you have served in custody on this case from the date of your original arrest up until today, which would be the date of sentence. You have the right to appeal the jury's decision. You do so by giving written notice of appeal to the Second Court of Appeals here in Fort Worth within 30 days. If you are indigent and cannot afford a lawyer, I would, con I would conduct an indigency hearing to determine if you are indigent. And if you are indigent, I would appoint a lawyer to represent you on appeal and provide you a record of this appeal at the, at the, of this trial at no cost. Mr. Gill, Mr. Brissett, if y'all will remain on his case pending his decision whether he wishes to appeal, and if you'll uh, furnish the information for the trial court certification of appeal before you leave here today, I would appreciate it. Is there an allocution? Yes. You may be seated. Thank you very much. You want a microphone or you feel fine? You sure you need some water? If you want, you want some water? You want some water? I'll take a microphone. She'll take a microphone. Okay. Tatiana Jefferson, 
a Tatiana Jefferson was a bright, vibrant light. See, Aaron Dean, what you thought when you shot our baby through her heart was that you were going to put her light out. <laughs> That's what you thought. But I'm here to tell you that a Tatiana was that light that refuses to die. While living, she would shine in the darkest, darkest situations. She would not only shine to see her way through, but she would shine to light the path of others. But now that you saw fit to take her from this undeserving world, thinking you would, her light would leave with her. That's what you thought. But I want you to go to your cell knowing that her light is only transferred. Instead of lighting rooms, she entered. Her light is brighter and warmer just as the sun. And now she lights the world. So what I'm saying is, Aaron Dean, you ain't stop nothing. You ain't stop nothing. I'm sorry, I wasted water. It's So I'm here to um, read a statement from me, from me, well, from my sister first, Amber, who's currently in the, in the hospital. Uh, a Tatiana was a special super duper helper. She made a way out of no way. She was my shoulder I leaned on and depend on her. She was Zion's auntie. She really loved, he really loved her because they were so much alike. She was my inspiration. Even when she really didn't have the time to help, she seemed to make a way to do so. She was very informative about the world events. I'm gonna miss that about her. She was so hilarious. She joked all the time until our bellies began to hurt. No amount of sentencing would make me feel as though we received some type of justice. A Tatiana should still be here. She had big dreams and goals. Zion now feels he is responsible to fill the whole role of his aunt. And he has the weight of the world on his shoulders. Because of this, Zion will have a lifetime of needs. Despite his needs, he will become successful. He will become a successful young man the way that his aunt Tay would want him to be. <laughs> Waiting these three years have not been easy. My panic attacks have brought me to the hospital multiple times, actually flatlining four times. Mr. Dean had no remorse, and you could tell by his demeanor throughout the whole court process. The only time we saw a difference is when the verdict was read, and at that time, he looked shocked. My family and I, 
still see this as murder. He came out to do so. Murder was on his mind. Amber Carr. Think for me. My sister Tatiana was amazing. He is amazing. My heart breaks daily knowing that my family and the world lost a beautiful ray of sunshine. My sister did not do anything wrong. She was in her home, which should have been the safest place for her to be, and yet turned out to be the most dangerous. She was murdered, and as her big sister, I live every day with the pain that I could not do my job and protect her. I want you to know that we had plans, Erin Dean, a Tatiana and I. New Orleans was supposed to be for her birthday in 2019. We had more concerts to go to. Auntie Aldi's with our nephews. I wanted to cheer her on during her long nights of studying for medical school and be an even louder cheerer when she was at her white coat ceremony. I wanted to watch her grow into the successful doctor, making a difference in other people's lives. But I've lost her. We've lost her. She was a beautiful flower just starting to bloom, and she was cut down senselessly. I stand here today on behalf of my mother, who spent her last days on earth overcome with grief and sorrow. I remember when my mother was happy to have the home for her children where they'll be safe and that their happiness was violated when my sister, her baby, was murdered in the same place. I made funeral plans for my sister from my mother's bedside. But in the funeral that she was too sick, too sick to even attend. My love for my sister and my grief could never fit into this short statement. But I hope, you, I hope it gave you a glimpse of what we have lost. I have not looked forward to this opportunity of addressing, of addressing you this year. My thoughts have been preoccupied by my sister and the chaos in our family your actions have caused. When my thoughts do go to you and your family, there was a tinge of jealousy. You see, you get to still see them. But now I just feel pity. It took a year or two to get to pity. It was anger and rage at first. I wanted you to suffer the way we are suffering, the way I suffer. I have loathed the idea of you with your family during the holiday seasons for the last three years. Today I have just arrived at pity, not because of the punishment you have received from your crime. You and I both know that that is insufficient. I pity your ignorance. I do not know, I do not know enough, you do not know enough to be ashamed. You're not self-aware enough to understand your, responsibi your responsibilities for this evil act. You, you are so puffed up and full of yourself that your excuses you made during all of this, you would never truly repent. You went into an American citizen's home because their doors were open, and you shot a black woman to death in front of an eight-year-old child. You have spent the last three years rehearsing your excuses. I hope you spend the rest of your life reliving this moment and discovering all the terrible decisions that you have made during this decision. Your service as a police officer is a permanent stain on the city of Fort Worth. Your two years as a cop marked as a low point as policing in Dallas-Fort Worth region. Your only legacy in this life will be the unrepentancy murder of my sister. And that will, that will be the punishment you will truly have to face. Prisoner, Sheriff.
All right, Aaron Dean being led off to jail after family members of Tatiana Jefferson have an opportunity to give victims impact statements, specifically speaking to Aaron Dean about what they say he had taken away from them. Again, Aaron Dean has sentenced, been sentenced to 11 years, 10 months, 12 days in prison, and that therefore does not make him eligible for probation at this time, and he's going to have to serve half of that sentence in order to become eligible for parole. We're going to have much more on this coming up on our afternoon and evening newscasts, beginning with CBS 11 News at 4 o'clock. In the meantime, we're going to take you back to, and of course, our, our uh, website. This has been a special report from CBS 11 News. Mr. Smith, anything else on behalf of the state? Nothing to state, Mr. Brissett, Mr. Gill. No, this case is concluded. Retire to your jury room. The city of Fort Worth had a 97-page report from an expert panel describing the conduct of the Fort Worth Police Department. Today, that report played out for the whole United States. And the verdict, although not sufficient for me, Tatiana's death would be a catalyst for change of policing in Fort Worth. Jesus, 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 Jesus. You've heard that the 11 years and, and 10 months. I know you've been in this hallway for days waiting, thinking to, to hear that. What was the first thought that went through you? I didn't have a thought. I'm still processing it. But the max is what I was looking for. But we're satisfied with the verdict. You shed many tears over the years over this. You held this in your heart. Is what is the measure of so not, this not for you? Now? There's not really a measurement. There's still work to be done. And the top to the other will help me champion change in the city of Fort Worth. Justice for Tatiana Jefferson. We got it. All right.
about voting, y'all. We didn't talk about voting Gallagher out. Somebody talked about voting Gallagher out. Somebody said something about us not having a Democratic judge in 22 years. Somebody speak to that. Make sure you file your complaint, please. File your complaint. File your complaint against Gallagher. And vote him out. You gotta go. Vote him out.